Live from Asbury Park, New Jersey, this is LHTV with your hosts, Andy Letke and Ben Marino. What's up, party people? How you guys doing, LHTV? My name's Andy Lecky. My name is Ben Marino, and we are here at the legendary Asbury Lanes in Asbury Park. Why are we here? Because we have our big gig in just under one week here. It's starting on Friday, February 12th, and we have 24 hours worth of music for you. Over 50 bands, and we're gonna be here Friday the 12th, Saturday the 13th, sun Sunday the 14th, it's going to be incredible. Right now is a perfect time to hit the old subscribe button so you get notifications from us for everything YouTube coming at you. You guys, I'm so excited for tonight. Yeah. We are going to walk you through the whole venue and show you what you're going to expect next week at the big gig. Yes. So first, what you can expect is you're going to walk through the doors directly behind us as you walk in the doors. There's going to be a green wall right Big here. Big green wall. That's where you're going to wait, and you're going to be ushered to your band space where you can get ready, start setting up, doing some stuff. And also, we're going to have a really cool photo opportunity here, too, um, also after you perform. So hey, there's lots of fun stuff. Ben. Yes? Let's get right into some music. All right. We got our man Dan is leading up this next group, and the name of the band is... Get Lit. Get Lit.
So I noticed with a lot of the bands that I teach, um, you know, nerves, it can always be a thing today to big gig, no matter how hard we rehearse and how well we rehearse and how much we practice, you get to the show. And sometimes, you know, especially if it's some, one of your first performances, the butterflies are getting to you, a little nervous. You're like, oh my God, the lights are going to be, you got to get into a place where you don't think about that stuff as much. There's a couple of things I like to do. About an hour before a show, I usually close myself off from everybody except for my bandmates or anybody involved in the production of the show. Um, that includes significant others, that includes parents, that includes brothers, sisters, cousins, unless they're a bandmate. You wanna kinda get away from that for a bit and start getting into the zone. It's like going to work. You wanna go in there and you wanna start focusing on the goal at hand, which is putting on a good show. You need your bandmates for that, you need the production staff for that. Those are the people you need to focus on for that 45 minutes or an hour leading up to the show. Other things I like to do, I love the stretch. Nothing like stretching before a show. It just loosens you up a little bit without even realizing. If you're into yoga, do yoga too. Yoga, might, I, I'm not a big yoga person, but I do love the stretch. Um, warming up with scales. If, if you're comfortable doing that, go for it. Some musicians just like to go out there and play. Some like to warm up. I like to warm up a little bit, but I... Finding like a little zen place is so important. And music puts me in a zen place. Doing the stretching puts me in a zen place. Sometimes I'll just sit there and close my eyes and just kind of visualize what I have to do on stage and what I want to do on stage. Like I'll visualize what I want this show to be. And then when you do stuff like that, more often than not, you're going to deliver. So get yourself relaxed. Like I said, stretch. Man, stretching is so important. And go out and have a great show this big gig. <laughs> Oh, oh, get lit, rocking it. They always do, they always bring it. Absolutely. You guys are raising the bar every time. Nice job, you guys. Man, so everyone, I want to bring you to step two to when you arrive at the Asbury Lanes. Mm -hmm. Step one, you enter, do the stuff we talked about last time. Step two, you make your way, if you're in a band, over to this flat bar section. It's at the far end of the Asbury Lanes. Now, this bar is going to be closed. And the reason why is because we are going to have stanchioned off sections for each band that's on deck, all right? So now when you get here, you put your instruments over here, you're gonna meet your band members, you're all gonna talk set lists, all your pre-show stuff. This is where you hang out with your equipment, leave your cases there. I'll tell you more about that later about the green room in the back. Notice Ben and I are wearing masks. So this is a mask wearing big gig, 100%, even singers on stage. Um, obviously, you get a drink, you get some food. You can't do those things with a mask on, so you take it off, you have your stuff. It's delicious, it's wonderful. But you know, be courteous to your neighbors, put them back on, we'll have a grand old time. Speaking of grand old time, Andy, we got some more music. Let's do some more so music. So why don't we experience some more music together? Good idea. This next band, led by the instructor, Kay. Yes. You love this band, I know you've seen them before, they're amazing, I want you guys to Chat it up in the chat when they're performing. Say your favorite things about what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And here is the next band, and it is Checkered Vans. Hey, what's up, guys? Kay here. Up next, we got Checkered Vans doing a cover of Misery Business by Paramore with Maddie Corsailor on vocals and bass, Connor Coffin on guitar, uh, Brett Hewish on keys, Ben Davis on other guitar, and Jordan Johnson on drums. Enjoy. I'm in the business of me, it's a real estate from the top. She's got a body like an hourglass, it's ticking like a clock. It's a matter of time before we all run now. When I thought he was mine, she caught him by the mouth. Oh, wait, it hate long months, she finally set him free. I told him I couldn't lie, he was the only one for me. Two weeks and we had caught on fire, she got it out for me, but I wear the biggest smile. 
forgiveness, we're both supposed to go out exchange. I'm sorry, honey, but I passed out. Now look this way. There's a million other girls who do it just like you, looking as innocent as possible to get to who they want and what they want. It's easy if you do it right. But I refuse, I refuse, I refuse. My real question is, are they all going to be wearing checkered vans at the gig? I don't know. Oh. You got to subscribe to our YouTube, get the link, and then watch their performance. They might be. They might be. So, but Ben, I, what's going on over here? Tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, why are we standing right here for this shot? Mm -hmm. So, it is because the next step is you're getting ready. Your band's ready to go on deck. So, what I mean by that is you've left your cases and anything that you don't need on stage in your band area right over here, mm -hmm. all right? Then you're gonna take only what you can use and take on stage with you right behind us down that hallway into the green room. That's correct, and as you go this direction, be careful, head on up the old stairs into the green room, and you will be on deck, ready to be the next band to go on stage. Ooh. Right now, though, we got something sweet happening, <laughs> and it's called Discord. Discord. that didn't play 70s music. At first I was afraid, I was petrified! My ex played music. Her musical instrument and I got a lot in common. We both got played constantly. My neighbors always listen to great music, whether they want to or not. Why was there music coming from my printer? Because the paper kept on jamming. What kind of music do planets like? Neptunes. Where do whales go to listen to music? The orchestra. What do you call a famous piece of music with three sharps? A, major success. Oh, Ooh, funny, funny the jokes. jokes. Funny, funny jokes. Good Guys, jokes are the best. We're in the green room here at Asbury Lanes, one of the most super cool places I've ever played in the whole world. Same. I love this spot. Um, the green room is cool. Bring some stickers. If you got some swag, boop, stick it on up there. Yeah. Oh, Wait, I see Whiskey Thursday's got their sticker up there. Ooh, that's what I I'm know talking about. Other Whiskey Thursday. So Ben, yes. what are people feeling? They're walking up here, they're getting prepped and stuff. What's gonna happen with the guitar strings? What's happening with voices and Thank sticks? Thank you, yes. So this is for on deck bands only, the band that is directly going on next. So our production staff is gonna be helping you do anything you need. Make sure you have your guitars, only the things that you need to take on stage with you. So you're gonna tune back here, right? Yeah, tune your guitars. You're gonna guitars. be warming up some vocals, some little tricks and stuff, doing some Ooh. scales, maybe playing some drum pad stuff, some key exercises. 
So getting ready and also be prepared to talk to our production staff and answer any questions they might have like, oh, who has a pedal board in your band? Oh, you three, great. All stuff like that. So be prepared to answer those questions. One more thing. Yeah. Be ready to get on stage fast. As Ooh. soon as the other band is done, boom, you're gonna get out there. You don't have a whole lot of time. How so. much time do they have? Generally. Minus seven minutes. But actually it's like maybe just a couple minutes. Like three, four, five minutes Barely in between any bands. Time. So you just wanna be as fast, as quick as possible, but do not trip. There you go. Well, great. We got some more music coming up. Yeah. An amazing band that's going to be also performing on this stage. Very excited. In just about five days. Mm -hmm. So that band is led by their instructor, Genevieve. Genevieve. And James is also helping out doing oh, some cool true. stuff. So without further ado, here is the amazing band called Noodle, Noodle Arms. Arms. Thanks, Ben and Andy. Today we have a wonderful band called Noodle Arms. We will be playing Thriller by Michael Jackson. We have Emily, Henry, and Zoe on vocals. Christian and Anthony on keys and Samaj on drums. This is Noodle Arms. <laughs> Hey guys, Gabe here, and I'm here to talk to you about your band's vibe. 
Are y'all headbanging, playing some punk, some metal music? Are y'all jamming out on some funk or some sweet tunes? What's the movement that everyone's doing? Start standing up and practice now. Start practicing and experimenting with those movements now. Because if you wait for the big gig, it could get a little shaky, right? So start figuring out what you guys want to do. Make sure in those heavy parts, you're all together. Make sure in those sweet parts, you guys are just grooving and closing your eyes, whatever it is. Start working on it now. Oh, man. Wow. Needle arms rocking it, man. Absolutely. Good song choice. You guys, we are on stage at the Asbury Lanes. You've just come from the green room and you've made your way onto the stage. You've set up all of your stuff. And what do you do next? Stay calm. You're already prepared. You've been doing this for months. You know what you're doing. Now it's time to let loose, have fun, and enjoy the moment. That's right. You have a couple minutes, about five minutes to get your stuff on. It's gonna be nice and relaxed, like Andy said. And speaking of letting loose, having fun, Short Points Records just released a compilation album called Locals Only Volume One. Mm -hmm. And they had the opportunity to record in Lake House Recording Studios. So we're about to show a really, really, really cool video of an amazing artist that we know and love. And this actually, this compilation is out on vinyl now. So ask about acquiring your own copy of vinyl. And it's really cool. It's also available on all distribution platforms. So this next artist performing his original song, 456, is Eight Days Straight. Yeah. Eight days straight. This is my day already. As soon as I get my money right, I'ma buy me a car. I'ma buy me a car. Oh, baby. As soon as I get my money right, I'ma buy me a house. I done said it before. I done said it, but who wears plain clothes? Who wants green grass? Everything ain't for everybody, baby Gonna take more than patience Can't easily explain why it works Just know that it works Just know that I'm on my shit Rolling like four, five, six Take a roll of the dice Make the most out of life I still got luck for you But I But going backwards, how are we the quest? Going mapless, how are we the cure when we so sick? For every line at the party, what you doing after? If team work made the dream work, I can put you on and lead the team hurt. See, I am not an ant, but I seen dirt. Man, I'm still talking to God like I need church. Church, made more blessings fall upon my left hand. Need more cool plays than that white man. Need me a backpack that's full up with white sand. She wanna go, she don't say that thing twice there. Yeah, my backstroke got me swim good. Be a friend, girl, you ocean like Beachwood. I done kept every stone they done thrown. I lay those down. And turn that to my home. Just know that I'm home, my yeah. shit. Four, five, six. Yeah. Make the most of it. Just know that I'm on my shit. Rolling like four, five, six. Yeah. Rolling like four, five, six. It's Monday already. That's the one. I'm Desiree Spinks with your LHTV Music News. The big gig is finally here, starting Friday at the Asbury Lanes. More than 50 Lake House Music Academy bands will be performing at the legendary stage. Friends and family are welcome. Food and drinks will be available. Check our website for details, including the full schedule. And don't forget, the new semester starts on February 15th. Now. This week in music history, in 1964, the Beatles first arrived in the United States at New York's JFK Airport, greeted by thousands of screaming fans. 
1971, Carole King released my favorite album of all time, Tapestry. And in 2012, Whitney Houston was found dead in a Beverly Hills hotel room. For LHTV News, I'm Desiree Spinks. mistakes but mistakes are no big deal having fun is what it's all about sure i like mario no i love playing mario but i also love listening to and especially playing music and that's all you have to remember of the big gig let me show you on the bass uke how to have high, high hopes for a living. Shooting for the stars when I couldn't make a killing. Didn't have a dime, but I always had a vision. Always had high, high hopes. See, it's easy. Just have fun. And we're, we're back. back. So, we are on the legendary stage at the Asbury Lanes. Obviously, we've been here the whole episode, but what I want to show you is the amazing view. Mm -hmm. Look at A that. A very small crowd of beautiful people will be sitting out there. Andy will tell you in just a moment what they're going to be doing, but I want to tell you what you're going to be doing up here. Make sure you know your set times, all right? The schedule is up on our lakehousemusicacademy.com webpage, and when you're up here, Take it all in, take a moment, take some deep breaths. Remember to have fun. If you need more on your monitors, talk to your production assistant and they can help you out. We're here to have fun and you guys have been working so hard for this moment. So what do you do when you're the audience? You have come in, you're hungry, you're thirsty. You know that you need a libation. So you get yourself a nice drink, you get yourself some yum yums and you take it over, you have a seat and you enjoy, and then you put your mask back on, and then the world is good. You know what they might also want to do? They might want to go bowling, bowling, because we're at the Asbury Lanes. Lanes are gonna be open, so you have a small window when you're here to watch your band, all your guests, so it's gonna be really, really, really fun. But also another thing that's gonna be fun, and the band that loves to have fun, is this next video that That's we're about to watch I was together. Gonna say. So Kate is their instructor. And the name of the band is the, the Designated, Designated Blues, Blues Band. band.
Hey guys, Emily Grove here. I'm gonna give you guys some pointers on stage presence. I know that we get a little nervous and what I see a lot happen are we play with our pants, something's weird, we're playing with our hair. Uh, sometimes we have like a sweater and we're just like kind of going like this. To get that nervous energy away from this so you don't look like this while you're singing, a lot of times what I like to do is put my hand on the microphone stand, sometimes put my hand on the mic. It gives you like gives you a place to actually you know, have something, so you're not like, I'm just gonna make it up. It gives you a set way of thinking about it. And if you get like, you know, you're getting a little bit, you know, fun, take the microphone out of the stand, but move that microphone stand away from you so that it's not blocking you or anybody else for pictures and things. You don't have like something blocking your face. Also, if you're feeling like you wanna do something special for a particular song, put on the track, Go in front of a mirror, or if you don't feel comfortable to do that, just go and make a fake stage and walk. Like if you're like, okay, I'm gonna stay here for this part, then maybe channel it, start blocking it. Go over here for the next part of the song. And then maybe for the chorus, you're gonna go over here. Get yourself comfortable. Maybe there's a moment where you wanna put your hand up. Block it, because then that way you're gonna feel a little bit more comfortable instead of like just going off and you know coming up with something and then you're like not happy with it. You'll have time to practice and just do things you're comfortable with. Don't go all out if you're not feeling it. There you go. <laughs> Designated Blues Band! Nice yeah. work. Everybody. Incredible work. Very cool playing. You guys, so here we are, this is the ramp. You just finished playing. You've spent all that energy, you had a great time. What do you do next? Be very careful, collect your things. You escort yourself down this beautiful ramp. Yes. And if you happen to have a case that you've left, you can collect it at that time and put your, say, your guitar back in it. And as you go down, the next band's getting on stage. But speaking of ramps, yes. we are ramping up for our student recital uh -huh. for anyone who is in private lessons, which means that's all of you. If you're in a band, if you're doing private lessons. So March 21st, it's a Sunday. We're gonna be doing that. It's gonna be live streamed. We're also gonna have some more details coming at you shortly, but just wanted to put that on your radar. March 21st. So talk to your instructor and start coming up with an idea for one song. Ben, yep. we got our next band. Who is it? Kate Ooh. is the instructor, and the name of the band is The, the Unfocused. Un
nobody call him. Focused, really nice. They always sound great, and I love their song selections. Same here. Cool. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Andy, so right behind us is the diner. Yes, that is where food is purchased. Um, but you're going to be sitting at your tables. So we are partnering with the Lanes for this amazing show. It's going to be so fun. So we just ask that you support the Lanes with food and beverages, and also bowling. Absolutely. You guys, one more band, Whoa. and then one more. Band. Shore Points <laughs> Records Band. So this one band coming up that we're gonna get right to it. Mike, teacher, band is Rock, Rock Bottom. Bottom. Listen to the wind blow down comes the night.
Lake House Music Academy. This here is one of the most important videos because we're going to talk about the pre-show talk. Step nine on the 10 steps to big gig success. Now, in the last one to two weeks of rehearsals, you should be talking about this stuff with your teachers, asking questions, your MDs, which are myself and Andy Letke, or other people that might even be in the know. Number one, what is a big gig? A big gig is a massive performance of all of the Lake House bands performing in one location. Do you need tickets at the big gig? Nope, no tickets, uh, free admission. What to wear at the big gig? You wanna be comfortable. Maybe talk with your band beforehand. This is the time to talk in the pre-show talk with your bandmates. What are we gonna wear, guys? Spikes, uh, leotards, uh, I don't know, going crazy. Uh, neon, definitely do that one. How early should you arrive before your set time at the big gig? 45 minutes is the answer. Another big thing is what to bring, right? It's different for every musician, right? Everything you play. If you're a keys player, we do provide the keyboards there for you. However, have your sounds ready. If you're a drummer, bring your sticks, right? We're gonna have drum sets there for you. We're gonna have cymbals, all that stuff. If you'd like to bring your own snare drum, go ahead and do so. Same thing with bass pedals. Uh, we have a production staff that can help you. Um, but one big thing, I love to always say to every single musician, warm up. Before you go on, if you're a drummer, bring a drum pad, warm up your hands a little before, just so when you hit that first song, you're gonna crush it and feel warm, all right? Don't forget about your feet too. You know, move your feet around, do your thing. Bass players, all right? You wanna bring your bass guitar and you wanna tune before you go on. So tune, warm up a little bit, get those fingers moving and then tune again right before you go on. You may even have to tune in the middle of your set. So I recommend having a little clip-on tuner or maybe a tuner pedal so that when you're in between songs, boom, check it while your singer's introducing you guys and you can be nice and smooth. Guitar players, bring your ax, your guitar, right? And make sure to tune off stage before you go on. Also, if you have a pedal board, make sure you notify the stage production that you do have a pedal board and make sure everything's wired correctly. Do a dry run at home, plug it into your amp, make sure everything's feeling good. So when you hit the stage, set it down, set it and forget it, and it's just muscle memory at that point. Vocalists, bring your voice and bring it ready. Make sure that you prepare it days in advance, You know, making sure the foods you're eating are um, good for your vocal cords and you're drinking Luke temperature water before you go on stage. If you drink water that's too hot, that could affect your vocal cords. If you drink water that's too cold, same thing. So as a general rule, lukewarm water is always good um, and have lots of water. Lastly, this applies to everyone in the band. Set lists. You guys have worked so hard, you've chosen the songs and the orders. So designate one person, one responsible person in the band who can type up a set list, print that out. Or maybe you wanna handwrite it, put your own artistic spin on it. That's cool. Make sure you have enough copies and maybe one or two extras for the stage. So you put them on the floor, you all know what you're doing. And I'd actually recommend to have these set lists ready, at least in a, in a dry run, you know, for the rehearsals beforehand. That'll be great. Earplugs, we do provide earplugs. If you wanna bring your own, go for it. It may be loud, but if you've never worn earplugs before and you put them on for the first time on stage, that's gonna be a funky experience. So if you wanna wear earplugs, start doing it in rehearsals so you know how it sounds and how you sound and how you play. That's most of the big gig talk. If you have any other questions, let us know and uh, ask your teacher at rehearsal. Hi, I'm Izzy Lamberti and my group of the week is Locked Out of Heaven by Bruno Mars and the drummer is E Panda or Eric Hernandez and fun fact he's actually brothers with Bruno Mars so this is how it goes. One, two, three, one, two, Eight. Nice. Good job, people. How's it going? Andy, tell us what's going on. Well, we got one more band. One more band. That's it. Um, we got Shorepoints Records with this release. It's super sweet. 
You can go check it out on Spotify and Apple and blah, blah, blah. Go check it out. Support yes. the next band that we're going to check out from this recent release. Yep. Is called Shoobies. in America is run the MC's music a compromise to capture a mass white audience so we just make what we like to make and you know usually what we like a lot of other people like also so whatever we feel we want to make we just go ahead and make it and if it's successful then 
Twig Lair. Your style of rapping is unique in the sense that you use heavy metal guitars. Are you keen on heavy metal? Well, heavy metal is because back in like the 70s, we used to have oral disco records with no beats hardly. So we had to find something to scratch. So we would take the heavy metal records and just scratch the drum part over and over. So that's how we came up with the heavy metal idea. We said we were going to make a record and leave some of the guitar in and take it away in time and let the drum just drop. But you know, we made, you know, heavy metal just with the guitars in it also. Oh, we did it. Here you we did it. Are. He did it. We all did it. This together. is the end of the show, That's you guys. I mean. Yeah. Notice we're holding bowling balls. And you we're could at do, the Asbury Lanes. We could do some bowling here. You guys, this is it. We got this week, and then the big gig is Friday. happening. Friday the 12th. So in just five days, we're going to be here, but also we're going to be online. So if you can't make it to the big gig in person, watch online. Subscribe to this YouTube channel right here, and you'll get all the links for Friday, Saturday, Sunday gig, all day long, 24 hours worth of music. So thank you yeah. to all the Lake House bands that performed on tonight's episode. Check out the website to see what the times are and when your band is playing. Yeah, thank you to all the Shore Points uh, artists as well. Go check out that compilation online. It's incredible. There's only one other thing to do. What? Join, Join a band. band. Take care, everyone. Peace out, people. And you.